Hi, this is iPad Tutorial Dudes, and today I'm going to show you how you can go from your 4.0 firmware if you accidentally got it and you want to go back to 3.1.3 or 3.1.2 so you can re jailbreak your iPod or jailbreak it for the first time because there's not a very reliable 4.0 jailbreak out. You should probably wait for another month or so, maybe two months, because they haven't quite updated all the apps in the Rock and Cydia store and even the App Store to accommodate 4.0 yet. So I would really recommend. This is something useful, and you can always do it for, for previous formers that come out if they aren't easily jailbreakable. You can also use this technique too. So, for all of you who have Safari, you can um, just skip over this a little bit. I'm just going to show them how to get to Safari. This um, is so you can download in the IPSW version, because if you have um, Internet Explorer, it will not work for you. I mean, it will work, it'll download as a zip, and then that's kind of confusing. So it's easiest if you just download Safari. So from Apple.com, you just type in Safari right here, and you can download it. Just quickly show you. It's a little slow today. So basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to download the old firmware, and then what, um, once I download the old, once you download the old firmware, I'm going to show you how to go to when you go into iTunes, how you're going to get back to the old firmware. Okay, so this is for all Windows users that do not have Safari already. I recommend doing this if you get the zip, because if you download it from here, it it most it might be a zip and that'll be too confusing. So then you don't do click on this and download that and whatever. So what you're going to do, um, I have two links in the video description. I'm going to show you the more confusing of the two. The other one is much more easily explainable. I'm just going to show you the harder, the more complicated version. This is the Hackintosh one. The other one is the Felix Bronsk site. It basically just shows two, like one that would be right about here, and it's just scroll that one here. If you have an iPod Touch or iPhone, do the one on the bottom. Find the firmware. But this is this is basically the same thing as that, except a little more. Except it doesn't it doesn't have a pull down menu, so just so you can scale. If you really want, you can read this, but you don't. Since I'm just going to show you how to do it. Now, what you need to do for this? This is an iPhone 2G, or in first generation models. You can scroll past that. This is the iPhone 3G. So if you scroll on to the bottom here, and if you want to get if you want to go back from 4.0 to back to 3.1.3, I'll show you how to do that in just a sec. The same for iPhone 3GS. They still have all the available things. I would I wouldn't recommend going much past 3.1.2 since 3.1.2 and 3.1.3 are, are the exact same thing except with some a minor update that won't make your performance much different. It doesn't really matter which one, but I wouldn't go anywhere before that. If you already have 4.0, this is the first generation iPod Touch, second generation iPod Touch, third generation iPod Touch. They don't have the iPad since that only has one firmware for it so far. So I'm going to go to the iPhone 3GS. Let's say I want the 3.3, and this is what you need to do is you need to click on your right arrow key and then make sure you highlight it all. You copy it, or you can just say go to address and then whatever. Okay, so what this is going to do is it's going to want to download a file. Do not open it, say save. And what it'll do. Is a, this is the nice part about Safari is you can see where your downloads are and it installs it into a folder which I'll show you where it is. So you click save and it should download just like this. And once it's done downloading, it should look like this. And the, for the Felix Bronze, it's the same thing. You click download after you select your firmware that you want. So then you're going to want to pull up iTunes. This is an extremely easy thing. You, you can do update or restore. I would recommend and it doesn't really make a difference, so I'm just going to press shift if you have a PC, and if you have a Mac, press option, and then click on update or restore, and what you're going to do, you're going to, if you have Windows 7, and any, I think it works with the other versions, so you can figure out where your downloads thing is, inside your favorites, go to downloads, and you can find this, you basically click on it, click open, and then you can look at your iPod, and it will take you back, I've done this before, but I'm not going to do it with my iPod right now, since I don't want to, if you do this, it'll ruin everything you have on your jailbroken iPod. If you have a jailbroken, it'll erase all that data. So, that's all that does. So, if you do that, 
you know, restore back, so you have 3.1.3. I went back to this from 4.0. Uh, so that's all you need to do to get back from firm from um firmers that do not have easy jailbreaks or do not have all the apps updated to that. So you just basically get Safari, you go to the one of the two links that I have, you download it, you look in the you click on the downloads folder, you press shift if you have a Mac, or no, shift if you have a PC, or the option key if you have Mac, and hold it down while you click update or restore, find the thing, click open, and it, it might take a while, but then it, you look like a freshly, just like you just like you updated to that firmware the first time you updated your iPod to that firmware. And that's all you need to know to take your uh, take your iPod back to a more jailbreakable firmware. Thanks for watching. <laughs>